Hi guys, good day. So welcome back ulit dun sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, ang didiscuss natin is all about yung continuation to ng differential calculus. So that is yung equation ng tangent tsaka ng normal lines natin. So kung naalala natin mga lodi nung nakaraan, diniscuss natin yung ano, yung tawag mo dito, yung slope of a curve. So related lang siya dito mga lodi. So ano ba yung tangent? So yung kung naalala nyo nung last time, yung slope equal yun dun sa slope ng tangent line. Tapos yung normal line, tandaan lang natin na yung tangent is always perpendicular to the normal line. Okay mga Lodi, so before tayo mag-solve ng problem, so shoutout muna kay Reynan. Hi Reynan Lodi, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and ayun, sana mas marami pa kayo matutunan. Okay? So try natin. Ito yung problem. So, ginagamit ko yung libro ni Peterson. So, find the equation of the tangent and the normal line to the curve. So, yung una natin. So, yung unang curve natin, y equals 2x minus x squared at the point 2 comma 0. So, itong point na to, it satisfy uh, dito sa ano natin, dun sa may curve natin. So, paano gagawin natin? Kunin muna natin yung first derivative. So, that is y prime equals 2 minus 2x. So, ito ay equal na dun sa tangent line. So, ang gagawin natin, i-substitute lang natin yan. m equals 2 minus 2 times 2. That is equal to negative 2. So, ang gagamitin natin slope ng tangent line ay negative 2. Okay? So, ano mangyari dito mga idol? So, negative 2, naalala nyo yung equation natin. So, that is y minus y sub 1 equals m multiplied by x minus x sub 1. So, y minus, yung point na gagamitin natin ito. y minus 0 equals m multiplied by x minus x sub 1. So, that is y equals negative 2x plus 4. Ito yung tangent line. Paano naman yung normal line mga Lodi? So, bali ang kukunin lang natin yung negative reciprocal na slope. So, that is yung perpendicular slope negative ng reciprocal nito. Therefore, 1 half. So, same method lang din dito. So, magiging y minus 0 equals 1 half multiplied by x minus 2. Kapag sinimplify natin, it will become y equals 1 half x minus 1 so bali ganun lang yung tangent line first derivative yung normal line perpendicular lang dun sa tangent okay? so isang problem pa mga lodi so burayin natin okay so next problem so tingnan natin dito so, let's say yung align natin is, or problem natin is, at what point of the parabola y equals x squared minus 3x minus 5, the tangent line parallel to 3x minus y equals 2. So, kapag parallel, ibig sabihin nun, same slope mga Lodi. So, yung tangent line daw, parallel dito, ano daw yung point dito sa parabola na yan. So, kunin mo muna yung slope nito. So, ano slope nito mga Lodi? So, titigan lang natin, 3. Bakit 3 sa IJ? Kasi pwede mo rin naman siyang gawin y equals 3x minus 2. Ito yung slope. That is 3. So, ano gagawin natin sa 3? Equate natin sa first derivative. So, y prime equals 2x minus 3 equals 3. So, that is 2x equals uh, 6, x equals 3. Tapos, paano kukunin yung y? Ilagay mo lang dito. So, y equals um, x squared, 3 squared minus 3 times 3 minus 5. So, that is negative 5. So, yung point na hinahanap natin is 3 comma negative 5. Kung hahanapin natin yung tangent line parallel dito, therefore, ano yung slope? 3 din. So, that is y. Kasi parallel, di ba mga lodi? Parallel, so same slope. Y minus, pero ang gagamitin natin point, yung point sa parabola. So, that's y plus 5 equals 3. 
multiply by uh, x uh, minus 3. So, ginamit lang natin yan mga idol. So, y plus 5 equals 3x minus 9. Therefore, y equals 3x minus 14. Ito na yung tangent line natin. So, kung gusto nyo hanapin yung normal line, perpendicular lang ng slope, negative or reciprocal. So, yun guys, kung nyari may questions, or just in case may questions, care concerns, wag kayo may magtanong. So, thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel and more tutorials to come. God bless us all. Bye-bye.